Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer. Thank you for joining us this week for our Evening Prayer service of quiet contemplation and um, some scripture readings. It only takes 10 minutes and there'll be some text for you on the screen or you can just sit back and listen and participate in that way. Open your heart to God's Holy Spirit. Let's begin. Our antiphon for today. Stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. Stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. Our psalm today is Psalm 35. Oppose, O Lord, those who oppose me, whereupon those who make war upon me. Take up the shield and buckler, rise up in my defence. Brandish lant and lance and battle axe against my pursuers. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek my life be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who plot evil against me be turned back and confounded. Make them like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them on. Make their way slippery and dark with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Without cause, they set their snare for me. Without cause, they dug a pit for me. Let ruin overtake them unawares. Let the snare they have set catch them. Let them fall into the pit that they have dug. Then I will rejoice in the Lord, exult in God's salvation. My very bones shall say, O Lord, who is like you? Who rescues the afflicted from the powerful, the afflicted and needy from the despoiler? Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 26 to 30, and then 32 to 33. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the day of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, it was as in the days of Lot. They were eating and drinking, buying, selling, planting and building. On the day when Lot left for Sodom, fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. Remember the wife of Lot? Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Why does Lot's wife look back? She longed for the wickedness of her past and it destroys her future. We are all aware of the sins of our past, the pain, failures and regrets for the actions of our past all linger in the shadows of our lives. If we focus on the light before us, those shadows can do us no harm. But if we look back and focus on the darkness of our past, we will not be able to see the light of our future. We are invited to live in light, in the light of salvation that Christ offers. Words to ponder. Our prayers, light of the world, we turn to you in prayer and say, hear us, O Christ. Light of the world, we turn to you in prayer and ask that you grant the church leaders the spirit of compassion. Hear us, O Christ. Light of the world, we turn to you in prayer and ask that you grant wisdom to government leaders, to church leaders, to all who govern or stand up front and lead. Hear us, O Christ. Light of the world, we turn to you in prayer and say, grant relief and healing to those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Hear us, O Christ. Light of the world, we turn to you in prayer and say, Grant freedom to those trapped by sin. Grant freedom to those trapped by sin. Hear us, O Christ. 
Divine light, our past is filled with mistakes and disappointments. Illuminate our future and give us the grace to leave our darkness behind. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light of our salvation. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison. Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, as in heaven so on earth. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, both now and forever. Amen. A hymn of grace. Now, Holy Spirit, make us one with God the Father and the Son. Be gracious to our bold request and flow throughout our mortal breath. Let hearts and mind and strength and tongue resound with acclamation sung. Let love flame up in ardent fire and kindle others' keen desire. Increase now, Father, grace begun, and you, the Father's equal Son, together with the paraclete, will reign forever, love complete. Amen. Whoever keeps the word of Christ the love of God is truly perfected in him. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Joining us for evening prayer in this way, I pray that as you move from this contemplative space into the next space that you are um, blessed and quiet and open to God's movement in your life. Until next time. Bye-bye for now.